we were sent this smart fingerprint lock from SecuStone. It's a really neat lock and they wanted us to do a review on it. So I'm going to tell you a little about it and how it works. So this actually has four ways of unlocking it. You can work the numerical finger pad here. So you type in a six digit numerical code and then press the pound key and it will unlock. You can use the thumbprint pad as long as your thumbprint has been authorized to open the door and it will unlock. And as a security safety feature, if you will, they have provided keys so you can put the key into the end of the door on the outside handle and turn it so that it unlocks the door handle and you can go in. Now this will not allow you to pull the key out while it is still in the unlocked position. You have to rotate it back to the locked position to remove the key. Nice safety feature there. And then the fourth way that you can open this is through the app. So there's an app that you can connect with this smart lock and you can unlock and lock the door via the app. You can also add and delete users, thumbprints and security codes, six digit numerical codes, and it gives you a log of who has entered into communication with this smart lock so you can go back through the day or the week and see who's had access to whatever this is protecting. Now let's look at the inside of the door. So on the inside of this door it is as a safety feature always going to be able to open the lock but it has this button on the inside so you can manually lock or unlock so right now it's locked but I press the button and it has unlocked it so that even from the outside this stays unlocked and anybody can come in or out. Then you just push it again and now it's locked. Simple one press button. This little hole that you see here, this is how you reset this to factory settings. So it clears out all of the codes all of the fingerprints, everything, and restores it to factory setting. So you can take the included screwdriver and put it in through the hole and press and hold for nine seconds and it will completely reset the entire lock. Then inside this handle here, this is where the four AAA batteries sit so that you can replace them when you need to. And this will give you a heads up when your batteries are running low it will tell you that. So if for some reason you were not able to replace your batteries and they die on the inside of the handle, maybe you don't know where the key is, you can actually provide this with external power as long as you have a micro USB cord that you just plug into the handle here and plug into an external power source and that will allow you to still use the fingerprint the numerical pad, and also the app so that you can get in so you can replace your batteries. So uh, this was actually really easy to install. I want to show you exactly what comes in this whole kit and show you a little bit of the installation. Comes with installation instructions, the outside handle which has the connecting wires attached to it, the inside handle, the spring bolt, which is covered with a plastic protective coating. The pinch plate is actually covered by the same thing. And the buckle cover, so this sits inside the frame of the door. You got your square bar, your keys, your screwdriver, a couple of screws, and then two sets of connecting pipes, long ones and short ones. So the installation is actually very simple. It is very similar to just installing a regular doorknob, except for you have the wire 
that runs from the outside handle through the square bar which connects into the spring bolt and it runs all the way to the inside of the inside handle so inside the cover lock the the cover area where you have your batteries is where that will connect in so that it can communicate between the two sides the instructions that are provided in the installation instruction manual is actually very clear and quite helpful so as long as you follow that you should be just fine.